Frankfort, Kentucky on the Kentucky River. Getting ready to pull a couple vehicles. We're getting ready to mark a couple vehicles. Got Outdoor Adventures with Ron. Got Ronnie, Brothers Underwater Recovery, and myself. So we're getting ready to do that. Got Tri-State Towing and Recovery donating their time and money to come help us pull these. So all right, y'all. So we got the first vehicle marked back there. We're currently looking for the second vehicle, and we're gonna get ready to mark it too. So it's a lot different conditions this time that we're here. The water clarity looks a lot better. It's not murky and muddy. It's actually kind of green. Sun's out. It's a lot warmer. So stay tuned, and we're gonna dive on these once we get them marked. Thank you all very much for tagging along. I really, really appreciate it. It's gonna be a good day. to dive the first vehicle that we marked get our mac get it rigged up get our magnet off of it and go from there the second car so the current my magnet is too small so the current was moving just a little bit just enough it was taking it and moving it the opposite direction of where we were moving it so we're gonna get something with a little bit more weight later on and then so we'll dive this first and go from there and a big shout out to tri-state towing you guys are up a long way just to help us out. Yeah, so we're gonna at least get one vehicle out. Yeah, that's so why we get daylight and all up. Yeah. So that is the first vehicle marked. That's the one we're getting ready to dive on. All right, y'all, so we're all geared up. I'm gonna go on out on the river, the Kentucky River. I believe it's a full wheel drive truck. I'm diving wet because I want to be able to feel. Probably gonna be cold, but it is what it is. Waited for a dry suit, I got 20 pounds, but I also want to be able to get down on the bottom just in case the current picks up for some reason, even though it's not that bad right now. So I'll see you guys out here in the, in the water. Thank you all very much. Love y'all. Eat, eat, it's gonna be fun. Don't drop it yet. Keep holding me if you can. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It got good for a minute and then just come down.
first truck pull together. This is the first one we it's had. On. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. No problem. This is the first one I actually got to actually just kind of do. <laughs> really? Like everybody else. Like the, the one that they just they wanted to do in their county. Oh, man. Like oh, I, yeah. Usually, sometimes we don't get to pull them, but we don't get to dive on them and hook them and all that. The biz is awesome. So Ronnie had great viz. He said, give me a minute. He got down there, he got situated. I'm like, all right, I'm coming in. I, I'm like, as I'm coming down, I'm like, see Ronnie, he's like, the viz is awesome. And then boom, poof. Yep. Uh, I, had, I had my uh, my soft line right there beside me. The boat pulled it away from me and then poof, silt. Yeah, that was me. I was like, dang, where's this at? So, gotta learn to go slower. I'm just really overweighted, so. But. Oh, I am too. I'm like, probably five six pounds overweighted in the river even though this isn't a lot of current no I like, I like to be overweighted just in case no it was nice down there good dive that was great visibility there's rock solid down there yeah kind of muddy a little bit of rock a couple of logs yeah. there was one pretty good size log right in front of this i i hooked it on that side hoping it would kind of roll over it didn't act like there was really any such in the break. Yeah, cool. Thank you guys very much for coming out. Thank you. Yeah, we couldn't have done this without them. Oh, no, 100%. there ain't no way. Yeah, baby. It looks funny. Half a truck? No, I think it's. S10. Not that deep there, is it? I wonder how they got out. There she is. That smashed in good. We're gonna leave it there a minute, guys. Let, Let the water run out, out of it just yeah. a minute. Uh, then we'll we'll move the boat boat over here. We'll bring this over here. Okay. And I've already contacted the fire department. We'll probably have them come wash that mud off of it. Run the vent on. Have the police run the vent on it. What not? You guys good with that? Absolutely. Sounds good.
Well, we did it, y'all. That's the first one. And we're getting ready to see if this one over here is a vehicle or not. Mark it and dive on it. While they get repositioned this, so law enforcement can come out and run the bin. This tri state towing and recovery. Yep. It wasn't for these guys, we couldn't get these out of here. So thank you all very, very much. Good friends. All right, y'all, so we're taking a little bit of a break. The rotator pulled the first vehicle up out of the water. Ronnie dove down, he found the second vehicle, which he believes is a Buick, could be just, you know, a big boat of a car. I'm not gonna say what kind of car it actually is, just, you know, pretty much something like a Buick. So he's got the Magnon there, we got it marked. Uh, I'm gonna get warmed up a little bit. So this has been an awesome day. Thank you all very, very much. It's uh, about time we got some diving in and recovering some stuff. That's what we love to do. So thank you all very much. And I need subscribers. I need help. Like and subscribe. Share this content if you like it. Uh, tell your friends, tell your family. I need, we need, need all the help we can get. But uh, yeah, more to come. So stick with us. I love you all very much. And I'm going to get me something to drink. It's going to be fun. Thank you all. It's a freaking epic day.